Microsoft is saying that a Russian hacking group targeted U.S. government agencies in the last week. Meanwhile, in Syria, Bashar al-Assad has won a fourth term as the country's president. Ian Lee is in London following these stories as well as other international stories for us. Good morning, Ian. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Yeah, we're starting with that breaking news. Microsoft is saying hackers linked to Russia's main intelligence agency were able to break into an email system used by the State Department's international aid agency. From there, they were able to attack computer networks of human rights groups and other organizations critical of Vladimir Putin. Microsoft says it believes the attacks are still ongoing. We now have the results of the Syrian presidential election, which are absolutely shocking, said no one. Bashar al-Assad easily breezed to his fourth term in office. It wasn't even close. The Speaker of Parliament announced Assad won 95.1 percent of the vote. The nearest challenger got a little over 3 percent. Turnout was reported to be nearly 80 percent. Uh, the U.S., the EU, Syrian opposition called the election a joke that was neither free nor fair. But while casting his ballot, Assad said said the West's opinion counted for nothing. Syria has been fighting a civil war since 2011 that has killed more than 380,000 people. Voting only took places, place in areas where the government controlled, while rebel-controlled areas protested the election. Next, we are in Hong Kong, where media tycoon Jimmy Lai and seven other democracy activists received new prison sentences today. They were found guilty of protesting the 70th anniversary of the Communist Party. Lai was already behind bars for taking part in an earlier protest. He will now serve 20 months after pleading guilty. And this is all part of a relentless campaign by Beijing to silence the pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong. Next, we have Nike parting ways with super soccer superstar Neymar, and the company said the Brazilian athlete refused to cooperate in a good faith investigation into allegations he sexually assaulted a Nike employee. The probe looked into the 2016 alleged incident, but the investigation was inconclusive. Neymar denies the allegations and said he parted ways with Nike for commercial reasons, which Nike then released a statement saying no, uh, it was because of his lack of cooperation. Finally, we are down under with a story we've been keeping an eye on. The plague of mice continues to get worse. The videos coming out of New South Wales are insane. It's like the ground is moving. The hungry horde is wreaking havoc on crops. The agriculture minister said that they're at a critical point where if the numbers aren't reduced, they're facing an absolute economic and social crisis. Farmers fear the rodents will eat the seeds and crops before they can be harvested. Uh, Emory experts predict the mice could cause three quarters of a billion dollars in damages, but the government ordered more than 1,300 gallons of a banned poison to combat the rodents. But critics fear it'll do the trick too well and kill other animals, including family pets. Oh, no, we don't not want that. I was going to make mm. my cat available, but uh, it, clearly they're, they've taken a different route. Um, Ian, thank you very the much. The scorched earth approach, yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. All right. You have a good weekend.